what is up guys i'm daddy gamer fred and welcome back to another pokemon legends arceus a guide video now in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys all the location of all the unknown in the game i'm gonna be doing this by location so i'm gonna be doing jubilee city and then moving over from the locations from the order you are able to travel to them do note you are gonna need a couple things in order to get this done one thing you're gonna need obviously to catch these unknown you're gonna need to progress halfway through the game I, I believe about halfway where you get the quest and you set out to go out and look for these unknown you know you have the quest when you pull up your pokedex and you are able to hit the y page and pull up your unknown research page as you can see i call un unknown already and i do it in this video so you guys could see each and every location as you would see it in the game do note there are a few that you would bump into regularly playing the story mode don't be afraid to grab those because if you do bump into them in this guide you would know that those are the ones that you went through and you could just skip along also if you're looking for unknown in particular i am going to have in the description of this video time stamps where you could just jump along to any unknown that you are looking for in particular from a to z so if you got the quest the next thing you're gonna need are balls you're gonna need balls to catch the unknown i like catching them in the the black balls like the heavy ball but a lot of, of the unknown are some of them anyway are kind of harder to reach than others so you are gonna need a, f a couple of feather balls as well you're not gonna really need to waste your jet balls or you know your gigaton balls on them or even like your ultra balls on them because you're not gonna battle they're not gonna break out once you throw a ball on and it's an automatic catch so i wouldn't recommend wasting balls unless you want them in that particular Ball. like if you want on all your unknown and ultra balls then yeah go ahead do it that floats your boat me i wanted them in heavy balls so that's what i threw them in mostly but if i had a chance to throw them in feather balls i did and i threw a couple in pokeballs just to switch things up another thing you might want to do and this is what i always do if i know i'm hunting a particular pokemon i run over here to my pasture and then i set the first box as a empty box so I could dump all those Pokemon in. As you see, this is my first box. So you can pull up your box by pressing the plus button. And you can see I have a box. It's literally named unknown box. You could change the name by when you press plus to pull up the boxes. You press X here to change the name and you are able to change your name. Let me okay, because I want to keep it here. So all the Pokemon you catch gets filtered through the first box. I usually like to keep these boxes completely empty. So when I'm going out and I'm catching Pokemon, I know where to release my Pokemon at. However, when you are hunting the unknown, you might catch other Pokemon as well. So that's what this box ends up being. It's just like Pokemon that I caught along the way while I was just flying around or whatever but i ended up just always moving those pokemon over from this box and try to cut this box as my unknown box but now that this box is finished i could easily just swap this box out from the first slot and put it somewhere now i have another empty box that i could play with that i could throw these pokemon in that i know if i catch new pokemon they're going to be in here my unknown box is going to be safe and you know unbothered basically with it being 28 of them they almost fill up a box, so you might as well just give them their own box inside of the game. Unless you are trying to have a full living dex, what I'm also trying to have in an alpha dex. But unless I get another, uh, like an alpha of one or a shiny of one, then I will consider starting a new unknown box. But until then, you know, I, I could kind of leave it how it is. Now, with that out of the way, let's head towards the first unknown, which again is in Jubilee City. Now, I like to go to this unknown first because a lot of people have no idea that you could even do this so it's kind of like a mind twist inside of jubilee city what you want to do is go inside of the building the main uh, building i think it was this building name but you want to head all the way upstairs all the way to the top floor and then you should be here at the commander's room and what's up commander you want to bust a right right here and then leave out to the balcony so once you're here on the balcony, not only is you got a cool view of the village, but obviously we're here to catch an unknown. There's an unknown right here. And it's funny, I always see guides of people trying to catch the unknown from the way down in the training grounds area. I'm like, bro, like, you know, it's right here. <laughs> so I'm going to try to catch it with a feather ball. 
Um, I mean, I could throw a Pokeball, Ultra Ball at it. I think I could get an Ultra Ball. Let's see. Yeah, see, no problem. There you go. Unknown. And that is our first one. Now you can exit this building so we can head towards the next unknown. Now the next unknown is behind your living quarters. So what you want to do is head this way and you're going to see them right here hanging with some towels just drying out right here. This one I'm going to throw in the heavy ball. Why not? Since it's right there. And then the last one is going to be on the sign by the beach here. So what you want to do is just run all the way down here to the beach area. I am going to use a Pokeball for this one. And let's want to aim for the eye. If that makes any sense. Mm, it's caught. There we go. And the Pokeball is going to... Oh, no. I was going to say the Pokeball is going to stay stuck there. But that is all of the unknown here in Jubilee Village. Again, very quick, very simple, very easy. I do love it that not a lot of people know about the first area of being able to climb up on the roof. And they tried to hit the unknown from here, which is insane. Okay, now we're going to head out into the Obsidian uh, Field Lands to get the five unknown that are here. So one of the unknown locations here in the Obsidian uh, Field Lands is right here by the cave by Lake Verhadi, and it is going to be found right behind it. So what you want to do is run behind it and you're going to have your unknown sitting right here. So let's hop off, hop off. There we go. And let's catch this boy. I'm going to catch him in a, in a heavy. There we go. And I got that bad boy. Now, another unknown that you can find here in the acidity and field lands is at this Badoof Dam, I like to call it. Well, all these Badoof are chilling out. You could come over here and see a unknown chilling inside of where is it? Right here. Inside of the dam. It looks pretty cool, actually. It's just trying to make sure that no one sees it, trying to stay unnoticed. I'm going to go ahead and poke his eye out with a Pokeball. Here we go. We got the next unknown. On to the next one. Now, for this unknown, I recommend just fast traveling to the Grand Tree Arena. If you have that fast travel point or just travel there. Now, this one is quite interesting because you got to actually climb this giant tree. So you are going to need, um, I forget the Pokemon's name, Sneasel. At this point, and you want to climb the back of the tree, head to this branch, and uh, jump off season. Make sure you land on the tree when you do that. <laughs> that would have sucked if I would have fell. And then, as you can see, at the end of the tree, we got our boy that we could grab. There we go. Will I survive if I drop from this height? Yes, I will. Okay, so you can survive from this height. How high can you climb on this tree? Oh, that's as high as you can go. Okay. You can't go any higher. Huh. Okay. Now, this one is kind of a tricky one to get to. This one is going to be at the Obsidian Falls. At literally the waterfall here on the map and in order to get this one you are going to need I, I would say i recommend using a steezel obviously climbing ability to get around here but this guy is right here so you're gonna actually need to uh get a good angle on him so again you don't want to i guess oh this might be the perfect angle and can I hit it with an Ultra Ball from here just to try it out? Let's see. Close his eye. Oh, nope, you can hit it from Ultra Ball from here. You can be fine from here. So it is at the top of the waterfall here in the Obsidian Fields. Now the next unknown is going to be at the far north right of the map at this place called the Grueling Grove. Now what you want to do, and I am going to zoom in for you guys. It's going to be in this lake right here. And in this lake, there's like this little island, <laughs> literally a little island. And it has a little tree with our unknown. Where is he? 
There he is on the branch. Just chilling. I'm gonna throw this one in a heavy one. Like the black with the black Pokemon. Looks pretty cool. Now that is every unknown here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. We are gonna move on to the next area, the Crimson Mine Land. Head out. We got our unknown, a couple extra guys that we caught. Now it goes without saying, the first unknown we're gonna talk about in this area is the one that you do see and obviously go to during the story, and that's the one up here at this fireplace. I want to say. It's in this place, it's unnamed, but you do go here in the story, so you might have caught it already early on. Once you have to fight the sisters here at their campsite, you have to actually find them. This is their location. And Unknown is just chilling here. There you go. Now this next Unknown is gonna be found here by the Shrouded Ruins, I think this is called. Um, it's good to note that this one is like right next to the Rhyhorn spawn. If you've ever been here and got beaten up by these Rhyhorns over here, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Kind of next to the Licky Tongue, uh, the Licky Licky spawn. There's like an alpha that spawns like right there. But you come here to these, right next to these two trees, and you're gonna see yourself our Unknown right here. I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball at him. There you go. And then we got ourselves the second one here. Now for this one, you want to fast travel to the Diamond Settlement. This one is literally on top of a house. It's going to be right here. I think it's this house. The Psyduck house. I'm be wrong. Uh, yeah, right on top of the Psyduck house. So you want to get like a little feather ball, wing ball, whatever, you, your vulture ball. And move back, I guess. There we go. You catch yourself one here at the diamond settlement on top of the house. Now, another unknown that you can grab is here at the Scarlet Bois, I want to say, right here. It's literally on a tree right here in the middle of the Red Swamp. So... Watch out because you're unable to like dodge roll if a Pokemon runs up and attack you, which is going on right now. So do be careful. Let's just grab this guy real quick before I get KO by the skunk. Bye bye. <laughs> I love doing that to Pokemon. Now, this next unknown can be found here at, I guess, the Sludge Mound. Or if you look closer on the map, you're going to see like a little C. It looks like a huge tree was here or broke or disappeared or whatever. And it has like this huge open playing field. Now, you do head here for story purposes, but a lot of people overlook and miss this. And you got an unknown chilling right here. And boom, we got him. I keep saying we got him, like if he was gonna bounce out of it, but they, I, they don't actually break out of the Pokeball. So it doesn't matter. You could use a regular old Pokeball. I'm just using heavy balls for cosmetic purposes. Now that's gonna be all the unknown for the Crimson Mirelands. We are gonna move on to the Kobo Coastlands and let's head out. Okay, so one of the unknown we can grab here in the Kobo Coastlands is at Deadwood haunt where we can see the two wrecked ships now you want to go to the one that's standing up and as you can see right here you can see an unknown on the pillar of the ship i forget what they call these let me just call it the pillar and i'm gonna throw a feather ball at it make sure i grab it because there is somebody looking at me and i don't know where that pokemon is oh, this guy nope it's this guy what happened you can't attack me because i'm in here are you the one that's mad at me? Huh? You mad? You can't attack me? You can't attack me in here? Oh, can you? Oh, you can't you can't hit me, huh? I'm in the ship, you can't hit me, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Now this one you're gonna have to go to the arch i forget what they call this the archway right next to the hand on sand reach right here the second one or the one farthest right you're gonna see unknown tilling on the outside of it 
what's weird about this one is that there's really no place for you to like land can you you can sneeze over here you can't really like land on this place can you land here nah it, it, it won't let you land there so the best way or the only way possible i mean you could technically hit it from here with it with a ball can you let's try to see i don't i think that's kind of pushing but let's try what no maybe oh i'm hitting it but it, it, it didn't give it to me oh my god are you joking all right let's let's get it the way it's probably intended to get so when you jumping with bass Legion, if you hold down the aim button to throw a pokeball so you want to press y and then press r it slows down time so when you do that you could aim and try to hit the unknown like that very easy to do hard to master easy to get done though I, I i love this when we first seen this in the trailer i thought i was gonna be catching pokemon like this all day i thought i was gonna be back to legion it up and slow mowing and, and throwing pokeballs like this but uh that ended up not being the case and being the worst animal that i don't like to ride well that's not true there's the bear that i don't i, I still don't quite understand the colors and all that now the next unknown that we're going to be covering is here on the fire island inside of the con boat coastland now again this one is quite easy to get to but it's hard to actually catch for multiple reasons and that's because it's really really high up on the mountain and you can't climb up there plus we got an alpha nine tails just chilling here so let's see if we can maybe catch this let's see she's gonna let us catch it one shot catch oh and we caught it okay that usually never happens that easily but uh she's compliant with the video now let's get one of these feather balls or wing balls i'm gonna use a feather and try to hit him up here there we go so i promise you <laughs> If you don't have an Ultra Ball and don't sneak up on this Nine Tails, it's kind of difficult. But uh, apparently, that was quite simple. Now, the next unknown you're going to be able to find here, right next to where you first meet the Growlithe Lady. Uh, I say Growlithe Lady, but the lady with the two Growliths, one that turns into the Arcanine. So, you want to go here. It's going to be behind, like, the gravestone for the Arcanine. So, what you want to do is head over here. I'm going to throw a Heavy Ball at it. I'm not going to slide off, right? All right, cool. Perfect and that's how you get that one that's showing on the map it's right here it's right here on the top of the big hill that you have to walk on top of. now the next unknown is going to be here at the springs path right at the entrance of the cave it's going to be on the tree to the left side right here that was a terrible throw but i still hit it boom and let's head out of here all right that's gonna be it for the cobalt coastlands now we're gonna move into the snow area or the ice land i forget what it's called but we're gonna go there now all right so another unknown location in the alabasca ice lands it's gonna be here at icebound fall now this one is on top of the waterfall literally it's a frozen waterfall here so you are gonna need bravery or Sneasel to climb down. Let's go all the way down to where it's actually the waterfall part right here. Where you can see the Crobat flying. Is that Crobat or Gobat? That's Crobat. So you see Crobat flying around, kind of like Gyarados. Looks pretty cool. So the unknown that you want to get is going to be down here. Now, I believe it will hurt you if you try to drop this distance. But with Burry Burry or Sneasel, you should be able to get down very easy. And you see the little guy right here. Now let's go hit him with a Pokeball. Show you where exactly he's at on the map. Again, right here. Right on the S of Icebound Falls. I want to hit it with a Heavy Ball. And we should be good. 
go. We got an unknown. Now the next unknown spot that we're gonna head to is one on Avalanche Slopes. It's gonna be right here at this circle part, right where my cursor is above on the map. And right here, you're gonna see like an ice cave. You wanna head down into that ice cave. Just drop a weird deer. Drop right into this bad baby. Couple Pokemon. Do be careful. There is a alpha down here. Just chilling. So you want to be careful. And make your way around this ice pillar in the back of it. And you should see this guy just hanging to him. Don't poke ball to be out of here real quick. Get this. And we are on our way. I don't want no problems with the, that alpha. Now for this next unknown, you want to fast travel to Ice Peak area because you want to head towards Snowfall or Hot Spring and head towards the spring itself, like where the water is. At. So let's head that way. Okay, so while we're here at the Hot Spring, you want to look at this tree next to this berry tree. I'm going to farm this tree. But right next to the berry tree where you perform, you're going to see our unknown boy chilling up there. So let's, uh, hit him with a poke. And again, that is right here on the map. Right here on the snowfall hot spot. Now, the next unknown location is going to be here at, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but the legacy part right here, the same location that you come to in the story, like this large giant ice you have to come up and you talk to like the NPCs up here when they are here. You want to go, it's going to be like on an ice on the side of it, right? Let's see what we did run around. Is that it? No, it's like on a lonely ice by itself. There we go. Right there. It's going to be right here. And I guess you could use Wither to jump off. Let's uh use Bravery. Make sure we land on that bad boy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And of course, we're right here in front of him. We're heading with Abby. Got that boy. Now the next unknown location is gonna be here on top of this like waterfall right here. It does kind of have a name. Right next to um hearts right here. And let's zoom in. Oh, keep zooming out. Let's zoom in so you can see exactly where it's at. But it's like all the way up here, far right on the map. And as you can see, we got him chilling up here. I'm going to hatch him, but then also show you guys a little bit more of the area. It's like literally on top of this bullet. So you literally can't miss it. What Pokemon is that? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, I was gonna say, what fish is that? Now that's gonna be it for all the unknown inside of this snow place. I forget what it's called, Alabaster Iceland. Now we're gonna be moving on to another location. So the next unknown we're gonna go after is gonna be this one here. This one is right here in the Cornet Highlands, right in the middle of the map. It actually doesn't have a location. I say right here, I can't even read it because I have a quest there, but right here next to the plaza, you, you can see right here, like in the crossroad area. And then right behind me, you're gonna see our unknown standing right there on a pillar. Now I can hit him with a jet ball. But I'm sure I could climb up it. See if you could just like climb directly up it. If I can hit it with a heavy. There we go. And right on top of that boy. Hey. Hey little guy. What you doing up there? Chilling? You chilling? You know I gotta get you, right? You know I gotta get you, right? All right, and that is this unknown. Again, it's right here in the pillar. You can't really, you can't miss it. It's right, it's gonna be right here by the circle pillar, right at the edge, you could say. And this is uh right next to the camp. So you can always fast travel here right away and head towards this one. Now the next unknown is right here in the, this bed of flowers. This is at the Fable Springs location right on the coast as you can see here i'm gonna zoom in 
right on the lower left side of the map kind of like in a little hidden i don't want to say hidden place but this place is kind of hard to go to because you can't climb on none of these mountains it keeps graying out and looking like a fog which is unfortunate because this place is actually pretty cool a lot of pretty cool unique pokemon here and you got yourself your unknown chilling in these purple flowers and i thought i had to pick him up for a second but uh let's uh knock him in the eye for the pokeball and grab another bad boy there we go so the next unknown is right here at the ancient quarry it's gonna be like in this cave but they're like two entrances here and it goes through like this whole area right here i want to say like this whole ancient curve and then when you head inside oh, also pokemon here don't worry about them they be i they're gonna be mad at you and try to attack you but we're just here to grab our friend who's on the wall up here and they should have no problem with it you know did i hit him did i get the no i didn't all right all right all right all right all right all right, all right. i think i i get the idea i get the idea you guys don't want me here you guys don't want me here okay 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 all right my guys okay my guys Wait, where is he? Is he on this side? Uh, yeah. You could climb this wall to make it easier. So you could just use Cecil to climb all the way up here. There we go. And when you're up here, you gotta hop off him. And let's uh, knock him with a heavy ball. get these guys a little mad all right cool so once you're inside the cave what you want to do the easy way to kind of explain it is just follow these torches so you see one torch here you move to the next torch and then the next torch then the next torch over here and right here there we go before you bump into the torch what was this five five or six i probably miscounted but five or six you're gonna see this broken rock that you can break basically so you want to throw a pokemon on it so they can break it so you can get your way through and then once you're in here you can pick up these materials and get yourself another can i hit this one with a heavy no i can't i can't let's pokeball it And we got him. Now the next unknown, and the last one for me, actually, is going to be here at the Ancient Quarry. As you can see, I can't even zoom in more. But it's going to be over here, right next to this, like, rock formation. So you're going to see the Alpha right here chilling. Another Alpha right here chilling. And it's going to be on top of this rock. Now, you can climb all the way up it, right? Can I, can I jump off right here? Land? No, no, can't. But um, we should be able to climb up enough Come on. oh my god don't start shooting me pokemon in this game is gang oh bro he's attacking up here all right so let's uh let's try to make this oh god let's try to make this quick oh, i'm right here the unknown is right there let's uh hit it with the pokey there we go it's kind of hard to get this guy. Since we're here, can I jet ball him from here and try to get him? Oh, no. No, I can't. <laughs> that was a failed attempt. Let's not die off the cliff. As you can see, let me open up my Pokedex. And hit Y. And I have a complete unknown Pokedex. Forms caught 28 out of 28. The box can hold 30. And this is 28 of them. Exactly. So I have all the unknown here. And I did mention that you can catch a shiny unknown. And you can catch this in, I believe, the second or third area. It's going to be in um, this area right here, the Crimson Mylands. So let's head over here. I'm going to show you exactly where they spawn after you collected your first 28. So they're going to be spawning here in this ruin. So let's mark that. And let's fly over. 
head inside. And as you can see, there's some letters that spawn right here. I don't think they actually attack. And I don't have any, um, uh, <laughs> they look so cute. I don't have any alphas in here. So if I was hunting alphas or shinies, I would, you know, go out, reset and come back. But I'm not doing that right now. I'll just randomly check to see if there's an alpha one I can grab, but or shiny. But right now I'm not going to shiny hunt the unknown. And that's going to be it for this unknown guy. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about unknown. Do you like that? This is like a huge fresh quest and all you got to do is just run around and catch them. Do you like that? Or do you think they made completing an unknown decks very easy? Like very easy. Unlike how it is in the past games where you had to actually find them randomly inside of a location. I think this is pretty cool because you still have to hunt for them and it does take up a quite a bit of time so i do think it is worth them putting them in their own little side quest like this but let me know what you think about it in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking pokemon call of duty fortnite wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.